Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to add 3D tracked clouds around the car easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all pre-compose the clip you are going to add clouds on. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Double click on that layer to enter the pre-composed layer, as we will be adding everything there. Now let's click on track camera and wait until it's done. After it's done, select a few points. For instance, I want to track the clouds right here. Now right click and select create solid and camera. I'll make the solid slightly smaller so we can see the video more clearly, then I will rename it to ground. Now we can drag and drop the clouds. You can use a PNG image, green screen footage, or even a 3D cloud model, it's up to you. I'll be using a simple PNG image. Enable 3D on the cloud layer, then select the track solid, or the one we've named ground and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Copy the position and paste it onto the cloud layer to ensure the cloud is tracked with 100% accuracy. Let's resize the cloud and then I will reposition it randomly somewhere here. Now let's duplicate the cloud and drag it on another side. Let's check it. Looks good so far, but let's add a few more clouds, for example, I'll place some above the car and some behind it. But first, we need to create another solid. This time, we'll select tracking points on the car. Start by selecting your clip, then click on the 3D camera tracker effect to reveal all the tracking points. Now I'll select a few points on the car, then right click and choose create solid. I'll rename that track solid to car. Now let's scale it down, otherwise I can't see anything here. Now, drag and drop another cloud. I'll use the same one since it looks so realistic. Enable 3D on it, then select the car solid layer and press P on your keyboard. Copy the position and paste it onto the new cloud layer. Now, let's reposition it and scale it down. I'm doing this randomly, but make sure to adjust everything to your liking. Looks good, but I'll duplicate the cloud and move it to the other side as well. Once there are enough clouds in the scene, we can toggle off the track solid layers since we won't need them visible anymore. It's looking good, but I think it will look better if that one cloud is behind the car. To make that happen, duplicate your clip. Move the duplicate layer above all the cloud layers, then make sure to delete the 3D camera tracker effect from it. Next, scroll to the beginning of the duplicated layer, select the Roto Brush tool, and double click on the duplicated layer. Rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you're done, click the freeze button. After the freezing is finished, close the rotoscoping window. Bump up feather to around 15 and then let's check it out. Everything looks good, except for that one cloud, to fix it quickly, we can mask out the cloud, but before that, let's pre-compose the duplicated layer, or the rotoscoped one. I'll name it mask, then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, and hit OK. Now, scroll to the very beginning of the mask layer and select the pen tool. Mask out that one cloud, also make sure you're masking on the mask layer. Once you're done, press M on your keyboard to expand the created mask, then change the mask mode to subtract. It's now fixed, but we will also need to track that mask. Click on the mask path stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, then go frame by frame and adjust the mask as needed. Once you're done tracking the mask, press F on your keyboard and increase the feather to 20 and we're done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.